I just talk about like what is it about the neurovisual training? Oh, How okay. does that like st strengthen? Uh, the, the, the networks or how does that help them to make them recover because that, that's interesting to me. Right, so the neurovisual training, we do neurovisual training with our athletes in 15 to 20 minute aliquots, okay? So um, 15 to 20 minutes is a very important time because that's the amount of time when you're doing brain training that you are going to actually wire. It's all about wiring and what we're talking about. So if I train your brain to wire it doesn't, it helps that it's the neurovisual pathway, but if I train your brain to wire for memory, math over here, or for eye-hand coordination, the light board, or for peripheral vision, as John was talking about, if I train the brain to wire and then it gets injured because the axonal shearing has cut the wiring, the rewiring is gonna occur faster. Just like if I train your muscle to build, and then you get injured and muscles waste a little bit, you're gonna build muscle faster because you've already been trained on how to do that. Okay, and that really is exactly how it occurs. It's building a program on how to do the task of the wiring. Okay, the other component is these things, okay? So one of the things we battle in, in my world in college and in high school is this generation spends so much time on these, they're losing peripheral vision. Okay, that's documented. And what we're doing is we're undoing the damage of these things. So one of the recommended rules that we have with our athletes is no media like this for two hours before a game. Sometimes really hard to do. There's bus rides, there's downtime, there's rain delays, you know. But we try to not have them on these things for right before a game. Okay, so that's the two component part. All right, but good stuff, good question.